Hello, everybody. Welcome to Explicit Materia, the podcast where a nerdy drummer talks to his friends old and new. And today I have CR Guitar with me, uh, otherwise known as Chris Robinson. Uh, thank you so much for being here, dude. Uh, Chris, for those who aren't aware, does fantastic acoustic covers of all of your favorite uh, retro games that you've played. And just and it's great because like the acoustic, the, the acoustic stuff, the, uh, the acoustic vibe that you bring to it just brings another level to some of these songs you're like oh wow all right that's that's pretty cool so it's very neat please follow on all the platforms whatever thank you so much for being here <laughs> it's my pleasure dude uh so like i i've kind of used this podcast lately to like kind of like uh meet and talk with other musicians that have kind of had the same or similar journey that i have where it's very obvious that you're inspired by uh, these video games and the video games that I grew up playing. And I just want to kind of know, like, what has been like, like your video game journey mixed with the the, the musician side of you? Yeah. So I guess uh, before I was a musician, I was a avid gamer. So um, it would have been, I, I guess, my first console was a was a Super Nintendo. So I uh, started out uh, started out there and uh, I didn't know anything about music back then like I was uh, you know uh, ignorant as they come but I you know I knew I liked the music I just didn't you know know what was happening and I didn't start doing music until I was probably oh I don't know I think I was in my early teens when I started uh, my music journey as it were so so yeah has has uh like how long have you been playing um, I think I started guitar when I was 13 or 14. So, uh, you do the math. I <laughs> think I'm com I'm coming up on a quarter century here. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Yeah. So what, what was the, what was the game that would like, what, what, <laughs> what was the game that made you go? Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is, this is what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm a gamer. Like you, you classify yourself. Like, this is my thing. This is my thing. Oh now. man. It, I think I sort of. I was a gamer before I realized I was a gamer. I don't really know what the what the turning point was where I accepted that, but uh, but I, I I was obsessed from the beginning. You know, I uh, I still remember my first console was a Super Nintendo. First game was Super Mario World, and uh, couldn't stop playing. Like even <laughs> that, just I we just we would just play it over and over. Like we'd beat the game and it'd be like, okay, well, I guess we're doing it again. <laughs> and we would just go because because we would get like one game a year. So like we would just spam that game of the year over and over and over. And then we'd get a new one and it would just uh, and then we'd have the odd rental every now and then. But as far as owning a game, it would be one a year. One a year. I don't know if I can yeah. handle that. I don't it was know. Rough. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you are part of are you part of like a, a, a big family of brothers and sisters and whatnot? Uh, one brother, one sister. And my, uh. my brother, my brother and I played side by side all the time. Nice. See, I'm yeah. an only child, so I never had that. That uh, although we played, I played with friends, of course. But yeah, but while you, you know, that wasn't so bad because this was sort of before two player co op. You know, uh, so so instead of us playing together, it was us like clawing at each other to have a turn. You know, we and we weren't very civil either, so we fought a lot. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it wasn't yeah. until later that the co op or uh, you know multiplayer actually was a thing. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember like, dude, like, playing Contra. Uh, yeah, play, playing Contra with a friend was like one of the the biggest things. It it blew my mind. Like I was, yeah, just, and it was just so much fun. Uh, Got to get the spread gun. That is, yeah, oh, most yeah. important. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's where I learned that you could do cheats in games. That's the, yeah. the first game I learned. It's like, oh, you can just do this weird button combination, and all of a sudden you got thirty yes. lives. That's amazing. Contra. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah but, um but yeah it, it was it was you know i say there was no multiplayer but i mean we had soon after we got uh, mario kart for super nintendo and that had two player like that that was pretty sweet so yeah we played that one inside out too and again this is one a year so there was a full year where it was just mario kart over and over and over again and it, it was awesome uh so like what's your favorite genres like do you have a favorite genre or do you just um I, I guess it depends what I'm looking for. So if it's like uh, sort of like fast paced, instant gratification, 
sit down for a little bit and stop it would be probably like online first person shooters but if it's like something i'm actually addicted to it would be some it would be an rpg of some sort or an mmorpg like uh you know back in the day it would have been like chrono trigger or uh the, really that was like the main one super mario rpg oh yeah uh, oh yeah and then it and then like later on like world of warcraft comes out and and like that was crack like it was it was another level of addicting oh man yeah. uh yeah i've lost many a friend to world of warcraft oh <laughs> yeah it's, it's it'll take the best of us down yeah <laughs> that in uh in uh final fantasy um final fantasy 11 uh, no yeah, uh, 14, uh, 14. Uh, I, I, 11 did it too though i'm ashamed to say I, I haven't played a final fantasy game i've been meaning to um, but but I'm I'm you know essentially a Final Fantasy virgin even though I love the soundtracks like uh, I'm in love with the music but I, I I'm I'm ashamed to say I haven't played a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I mean don't don't yeah. be ashamed. That's totally that's totally it's a little daunting yeah. at a certain point. You're just kind of like well yeah. there's sixteen of them now like <laughs> yeah which one you know which, <laughs> which one, one do you, do you do? start with yeah um, I'm sure you've gotten recommendations by all all sorts oh of yeah like i mean the everyone everyone talks about seven and then there's the the mmo one which is uh what number is that one 14 14 uh yeah apparently that, MMO. that people call that one the world of warcraft killer so it, like i mean it's still going strong yeah. it's crazy it's cr yeah. I, you know it's because the whole release was just absolutely like atrocious like all those things you know it came out and it was terrible and buggy and all this other stuff and, yeah article after article after article and then they i think didn't they just like pull it from the shelf then they're like we're sorry we're gonna do this over i'm sorry and then they oh, did, brought did, it back was it that bad of a lunch i can't remember ex exactly what happened but it was uh, so bad it was just like it was so Fallout bad 76 bad yeah it was that yeah. bad it was pretty oh, bad man. um I did, I had from no what idea. i hear from yeah. what i hear and from what i remember uh because i never play online games really uh, i'm only pretty much single player yeah. um as the <laughs> as the result of being an only child i like playing alone um <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah uh but then they got a new i guess they got a new director and then they just basically started from scratch and brought it back and now it's just insanely fun and great yeah and, it sounds like it yeah and uh every like for my live stream i keep continuing to get all these fantastic uh final fantasy 14 rendition or final fantasy renditions from final fantasy 14 and they're just all bangers all of them oh every single really? one there's like 500 tracks now it's like ridiculous Seriously? yeah it's it's Jesus. ridiculous um but yeah don't feel bad don't feel bad okay. and honestly i would actually if i were to recommend a final fantasy to anybody uh mm -hmm. who's never played one before i would actually recommend nine out of all of nine them. uh yeah. something I've heard nine is like the the underrated one. Uh, I would disagree. I think a yeah. lot of people do like nine. Uh, I I would say oh, that okay. eight is the underrated one, but oh, um, okay, it's a little okay. weird. But that's my favorite. Eight is my favorite. Um, yeah. But I wouldn't recommend that one for first time out. I would recommend nine because okay, it's a, nine came out as sort of a as an homage to the older retro uh final fantasies you know six and and five and four and stuff like that um yeah but what still was sort of modern enough to you know placate to the the modern uh sensibilities of others and it's i feel like it's a it's a, a really great first timer uh okay. final fantasy it's a great final fantasy on its own of course but i'd say yeah. like nine because it's got the crystals and you know for from like one through five it was all about crystals and everything like that um and then six kind of broke the mold and okay direction. Yeah, I got a lot of learning to do. I, I don't know any of this. Unless there are crystals in six. I don't know. It's been forever since I've played six. <laughs> <laughs> seven for sure. There are no crystals in seven. I know there are no crystals yeah. in seven. Um, but are are you like a so you, you haven't played nine and you, so you've been you've been doing these like retro covers like what uh made you, first of all what made you want to start like putting that out there into the universe into the into the ether oh man it's i i still like have to come to terms with the story myself because i don't re it, it, everything just kind of happened you know i never really sat down and thought about it but uh like 
when I was young, I like I, I knew I liked video game music, but again, I didn't know anything about music. So like, but I just knew I dug it, you know, like when, yeah. when, when I'd play the game, I, I liked the feelings I had when I heard the songs. And then I, you know, I sort of got into music independently. Like, and, and while I was doing that, I wasn't really paying attention to video game music. I just kind of like they were two separate paths and they converged later on in life and, and yeah. it would have been probably I don't know like I, I I'd been playing for a while and uh every now and then there'd be like things that would creep into that that music world where it'd be like oh Mute City from F-Zero is a banger and <laughs> I would learn that for like electric guitar or like uh like Gerudo Valley from Zelda like I'd play that uh with like the, the flamenco people I was playing with. So like there was like little bits of crossover happening, but it, it really wasn't until uh, like I saw the, the super guitar bros, they did um, a full album of, uh, of the Ocarina of time soundtrack. And that was sort of like my first uh, moment where like, I saw, I saw like le clearly legitimate musicians uh, playing video game music and I was like holy shit like it's actual real good music you know like it and it, it's it's like embarrassing that it took me that long to realize it you know like because like I knew I liked it you know I just didn't know why I liked it but it turns out I liked it because it's really good and it, later on in life I realized it's legitimate music yeah and, I mean uh, it, I, I I'm yeah I I feel the same way and I I feel like I'm still screaming to the heavens uh to so many people that like it's not just like it's like not just video game music like this is really really well thought out pieces of music yeah <laughs> oh yeah yeah like really good especially like i still get my mind blown like where i'll I'll take like a new piece that i've always liked and, and i've always wanted to play it and then i start playing and i pick it apart and i'm like holy shit it's brilliant like, like <laughs> i could i could never come up with this like it's amazing it's yeah. so good it's like, yeah. yeah, and it's one thing to like learn something, but it's another thing entirely to create something from thin air. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. That's another level, especially something like that. Like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Would you ever like, would you ever obviously probably the answer is yes. But like, how cool would it be to be a fucking composer to like a video game? Like, oh, absolutely. Have you 100%. ever like dabbled? Have you ever dabbled in that direction? Like, in, in, like I've done and... I've done composition and recording for for movies and, and TV shows a little bit. Oh, cool. Uh, Which ones? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, can you, you might not have heard of them. Uh, <laughs> some of them, I don't even know if I can say yet still, even though it's been like over a year since I've done it. That's how it goes. Um, I know. Like, so I don't know if I'm allowed to say any of them yet, but I think I've done three or four different ones, four different ones. Uh, and it's all been in the last like two years but this shit takes forever and I don't know. If, uh, but, but yeah, there, there's been three of them where I've been hired to sort of like play the music that's been composed. And then there was one where I was hired to do the composition and recording for it. So uh, I, I've, I've stuck my foot in the water and, and I like it. Like it's, it's nice. It's a doing, good so yeah, doing some project. sinking stuff. That's nice. Yeah. So I'd love, uh, you know, if someone approached me to do that for video games, I would be all over it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so you do yeah. uh production, uh, like, so like the acoustic, so what made you want to do it? Like, cause the only stuff that I've seen of you is just all acoustic. Like what yeah. made you want to do like the acoustic versions of all these things instead of like, you know, guitar and like electric and. Yeah. Cause like it's, it's, it's funny you ask because I, I did start out, like, like when I started playing guitar, it was on acoustic for a very brief period. And then uh, I switched over to electric, like right away. And and like some of the first like real stuff I was playing was was metal, you know, like I played a lot of uh, like early Metallica, like uh, Master of Puppets, Ride the Lightning. And I think I learned all of Metallica's 80s discography, like start to finish. I, there was probably one point where I could have played kill them all to justice for all start to finish uh like i was i was obsessed with them back then dude it's so, same same metallica yeah. was like my first foray into metal you know what my first metallica record was what's that it was fucking um it was oh gosh dang it it was uh it wasn't oh my god i forgot the name of it oh my god um are you um <laughs> it was uh fuel that's right oh fuel. fuel yeah 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 
and it only gets better from there. Like, yeah, man, the, the, yeah, the, I mean, it's, it feels not bad. It's just, uh, it's different though. You know, yeah. I would say that load and reload are rock albums, you know, load. and that's like, right. It, it wasn't fuel. It was load. That, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. The fuel was like the first. That was song. like the mate. That was the major song from that one. Yeah. You know, that, that was the one. Yeah. And it's I, a good song. It's it's all right. It's it's but, a different version of Metallica. And then I yeah. went back and it's like, oh, this is actually Metallica. This is yeah. like, <laughs> it is, you oh, know, it's funny. I see. You, you say that that was your intro. My intro to Metallica was the the one they did with the Symphony, the the S and M album. Oh dang! Yeah, yeah. So like, I heard that one at first, and I even I even like that. I was like, this is this is sick. I didn't, and then mind, I, I didn't mind it. I think people yeah. like people thought it hated it. I well, thought it was great. Probably, they probably hated it because they were familiar with the originals. And then they heard this thing that was like way different than what they're used to where, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. It's a weird way that I got into it. I, well, what I was admit, cool but... too is because like, you know, as a person who grew up playing video games with all this orchestral, you know, uh, pieces in my brain and just growing up, enjoying that music, I thought it was really cool that one of my favorite uh, metal bands or my favorite metal band Metallica you know, went and got a, an orchestra, the yeah. you know, and and it sounded like it was great video game it, music. It, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure it did. It really did. Yeah, that that was really cool. But uh, yeah, it, it's a weird first Metallica album. Right? It, it, it definitely is. But but my I question like about the acoustic stuff was like your yeah, video, I, video game I, covers. I, like, yeah, I went on a I went on a bit of a, a digression there. So yeah, I, I um. So then after that, I, uh, I, I, I was into metal for a while and, uh, or I still am, but, but, uh, I just, I, I wanted to do other things too. And, uh, you know, I guess sort of in high school, I was still like a metal guitarist, but it was sort of like the next step is, uh, learn classical guitar, you know, like, cause it, it's, it was either that or jazz and jazz is awesome too, but it was, it was just cool to have this sort of new, um, it was completely different and it kind of blew my mind to to see like classical guitar for the first time and play it for the first time because it really is it's something else you know because like you've got like multiple parts at the same time on the same instrument yeah it's a lot different a lot different than playing a guitar solo or playing like a riff or or going around with power chords like to have these like independent lines working together was like I didn't even know that was a thing, you know, like that you could do that on guitar. So that blew my mind. So I did a lot of that. I got into playing. And then from there, I got into playing flamenco guitar. Uh, so I, I, which also blew my mind to see that you could sort of use it a, a lot like a percussion is. Yeah, you know? like absolutely. It, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's a, that, that's a wild genre too. So like I, I sort of went all around and, and in doing so, like I got a pretty good right hand technique and, and, and and I guess sort of what happened next is, uh, yeah, I saw the Super Guitar Bros and I was like, well, I'll, I'll fuck around with this a little bit. Like, like and, and I just like I don't really know how it started. Like it started with me. I, I as far as like the first like video game stuff I put on YouTube, it was me with a looper pedal. Like I didn't even have a, a recording setup yet. Like I, I had nothing like a, but I had this looper pedal and I would pre-record tracks that I made into the looper pedal. And then I would film me playing the lead part along with all these tracks I just put down, which is insane because I basically just did a multi-track recording with like the shittiest quality <laughs> possible. And and, uh, and I was just doing it for me. Like I was having a fun time just jamming with myself. Uh, but I filmed one once and uh, I uploaded it to Reddit and it did like, it kind of blew up and this was even I uploaded it to YouTube first just because this was back before Reddit had a video player or like a thing you could upload videos to. So you had to like yeah. post a link of a video. Right. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'll put it on YouTube and then I'll, I'll share that YouTube link to Reddit. And, uh, and it, it did awesome. And it felt really good for people to be like, yeah, I love this song, you know, like, uh, so, so yeah, I, I was, uh, stoked about that and I just sort of kept doing it. And then I think the next one that I did was, I think it was F Zero, just because that was always one that I would come back to. Like F Zero, the the mute mute city from oh, F Zero. Oh, mute city is great. I love that song, dude. So I I did a really shitty acoustic cover of that uh, way back. It stunk, but people still liked it, and I just kind of kept doing it. And uh, I figured out pretty quickly that the the way I was doing it was terrible. So I, I started. <laughs> I like bought an audio interface, and I had done a little bit of multi track recording before. But uh, it just, 
Um, sorry, my cat's freaking out. I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> can, you, can you pause? Is it yeah, yeah. Here, wait, one sec. We're we're gonna take care of my cat. I don't <laughs> okay. know if you can hear it on. Can you hear it on your end? No, I can't. I I'm oh, totally dude, fine. Oh, dude, she yeah. is a problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's so bad. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, we should uh, we should have some more signs. So, holy shit, dude! I I, I, I dude, ever, I get like, it. I got two dogs, so yeah. yeah and... <laughs> Do you ever do? Have you ever tried that thing where you? Uh, it's like it's. I think they call it a um, a, th- a train of <laughs> a train of thought scrambler where you try to say what you're thinking, uh, but it records what you're saying and it plays it back to you like a full second later. So you're 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 getting this insane delay and you just can't get the sentence out because you, you're there's that. I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. That would drive me there. crazy. I can't. I know that I can barely get sentences out Bad. without that bathroom yeah uh, uh, yeah so so anyway that that was what was just happening to me there this should be better now <laughs> holy shit dude i'm sorry i i, don't, I feel totally like fine. the last five minutes <laughs> okay uh, dude so, i get it yeah uh so i i uh I, I got lost there i was talking about um where, where, what was the what was the last coherent thought that i had <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah, um, i'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh acoustic uh yeah getting into yeah. the acoustic and okay uh, so yeah i had this stupid ass looper pedal which you know not hating on the looper pedal it's great for live stuff but like if you're gonna film yourself playing a song and and uh you're playing along to pre-recorded looper pedal stuff and you're recording with an iphone speaker like it's 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 as bad as it gets you know but but i, I was just stoked to jam and, and film it and and eventually I, I got to this point where I was just like, well, I should actually do it like a good version where I record with a good mic, with good software and edit it properly and put like the right amount of effects on it. So I, from there, like I just I, I, I got this interface, I got the, the right software and I just sort of. And, you know, once I got that stuff, it's not like it was magically good. I had to like figure out how to properly mix and do all that stuff, yeah. too. Which well, it sounds years. great now. You know, like it sounds great now. And you know what I also love about your videos? Is that, that your deadpan is oh yeah amazing. yeah dude like it's there's no expression so it's kind of weird actually seeing you smile right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, it's yeah just, it's, it's sort just... of I don't so like the 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 way that came to be is uh like if you watch my really early stuff I, I don't do it like I'm kind of like looking at what my hands are doing to make sure everything's cool but I think like once I I sort of looked up at the camera to make sure I was in frame and things were in focus and all that. And um, I think someone called me out on it. They were like, whoa, what's with the stare at like 50 seconds or whatever. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to do it every time for way longer and way more intense. And then it just became that thing. It, yeah. And it's great. It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's your trademark. It's, it's yeah, at it, this it, point. It just, it just happened. It just happened to be. Yeah. I, but, but yeah, that, that I guess that's sort of my point. Nothing of what I did has ever been premeditated. It just I just let it happen, and uh, that's my favorite way to do it because I, I hate planning things. I, I I don't like any of that, so I just I just let it all happen. Dude, tell me about it. Yeah. I'm trying to like I'm trying to figure stuff out with my work schedule, and my live yeah. stream won't be on the same day every time now. So now I gotta like go into my calendar and figure, you know, just kind of plan it. I don't like planning. I don't, I don't no, it's like the it. worst dude. And I want to just thing do is it. Like, well, and like you make plans and then, Oh, guess what? This thing came up and now the plan's different. So it's like, why, why am I wasting this energy? Especially with something like this, where it's like, it's, it's pretty low stakes. We're just having fun. Like, like, why is there a plan? Why don't you just do this, you know, make really short term plans, you know, like I'm going to record this song, do that song. And just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe you should have long-term plans, but that, that's not the way that I do it. See, at I all. mean, I, I, yeah. you know, that's exactly what I want to do, but like, yeah. you know, I've over the years of talking to a lot of social media influencers and, you know, and gotten to know their like process and what everything. And, you know, like it's kind of been ingrained in my brain now to like post every single day. And the way yeah. my, my particular content is set up is like, I'm actually able to do that because my live stream is only twice a week and all my clips are for my live stream. Yeah. That's, so, that's a great way to bank clips. That's, that's wicked. I mean, like it's, it works out perfectly because the unfortunate thing is like, I'm not able to put a whole lot of thought into other content. Like, you know, I'd love to do video game reviews again, but that takes 
that takes so much time and effort yeah. and equipment of which mine is like now a potato when like a couple of you, you know, five, six years ago is a great yeah. computer. And now yeah. it runs worse than my friggin' phone. Like, what are you, what are you using? For, what are you using for this video? That looks like good quality. Uh, I'm the, the, the camera, the camera yeah. to the cameras from like Amazon, like it's 30 bucks and it's like one Dude. of my favorite. Yeah. So I love this it camera. It's great. Oh, um, after this, I'll get you to send me a link to that because that, that looks I, great. I actually, they don't make yeah. it anymore. I've actually oh, tried God to, damn. yeah, I've actually tried to find it on Amazon again, and I, yeah. it's gone. They don't oh, have it available anymore. It's probably, you know, it's probably made in some warehouse in China somewhere, and now of course they're, it is. Yeah. you know, moved on to another, you know, another kind of camera. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to trying to figure out, and uh, I mean, your stuff, your stuff is it's it's just so. It's so, are you a collector? By the, I don't know why I just went went woo, way into another thought. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, are you a collector of the uh, like like these video game uh, systems and whatnot, or are you just no man? I just uh, I just play what I want to play, and, and good. Uh, don't feel bad because yeah. I'm not a yeah. collect. I've just now started yeah. collecting the games that I've bought in like in the last four years or whatever oh yeah um i st i do have retro uh systems but they're all just kind of like set away they're not like yeah. put up and i'm able to play them and stuff like that um yeah but like being a, a collector now is so expensive like i don't even it know sounds how like it I, yeah i don't even know how people are able to buy all these things and still have a a life <laughs> i know well i yeah i think it's you got to choose one or the other <laughs> especially know? for musicians yeah. you know because that's yeah. another thing for like you and i it's like you know i could buy this you know old school uh sega dreamcast for what 130 dollars, or i can use that money to replace my hi-hat that i need to get you know right and... <laughs> yeah you got you got you got gear replace or gear on two fronts that you you want to buy yeah right yeah um so like, so what do you do like musically outside of the the covers? Like, because you mentioned it a few times before, playing yeah. with the fl flamenco and and what? Yeah, so so I I do uh, I do uh, flamenco work. Like uh, I basically uh, I did play in a group, but now I'm essentially uh, sort of like if there's a flamenco troupe that needs me, I pop in and I'll play what they need. So like uh, I guess uh, to put it in really cool terms, I'm a hired gun. Uh, but but uh, yeah, it's not that cool. But but, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> where uh, where it, do you um, if if you don't mind me asking, I can cut this out. I mean, if you if you want, uh, where do you live? Where do you reside? You Halifax. don't have hands. No, oh. I, it's okay. I, I I dare people that stalk me. They're not gonna. Do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know some people are yeah. weird about that. Like I yeah. I'll tell people like I'm from Nashville all the time. Yeah, and I you know someone had mentioned on my live stream that my Na my Nashville location was being shown on stream. And oh. someone has like, are you, you know, like that, that not actual location, but that was like Google, yeah, you know, Google ads saying like, hey, near Nashville is blah 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 yeah. blah, you know. We um, uh, we drove we drove through your city about a month ago, by the way. Uh, oh, is that I, right? I, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I know it only something. occurred to me. It only occurred to me after we went through. I was like, fuck, I think that's where Wise Drums lives. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so good. Yeah, dude. Bad. Next time, next time you're in yeah. town from where is that again? Halifax. Uh, it's Nova Scotia, so it. I think uh, Nashville was like fifteen hours into the drive, so I think that you're you're about twenty five hours away <laughs> driving from. Here. Yeah, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you born and raised, or do you just live there? Now? No, uh, I lived all over Canada. Like I was oh, born okay. in born in Alberta, and then lived in BC. Uh, yeah, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Yukon. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 I grew up all over Canada, but were I've your, lived here. Were your parents oh, musicians? No, uh, um, no, nope. uh, <laughs> my mom's a bit of a musician. My dad's not musical at all. Yeah. So you just picked it up. That's, that's fast. I, I grew up, my parents, decided, were, yeah. my parents were, uh, uh, entertainer, entertainer singers played with bands nice. and I grew up around that. So it's cool. So like they were so surprised when I decided, Hey, I'm not going to go to college, mom. <laughs> I, I want to be in a band and be broke. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so yeah. surprised? Yeah, exactly. So you're yeah. so so you're a hired gun, hired musician. Yeah, and then I play in a, I play in a duo with my brother where we basically just uh, play guitar and sing harmonies together, and we'll play like at 
bars and stuff like that. And uh, do you put I some play... of that stuff? Is that stuff on your channel, or is it? Are no, you kind of... I it, they're they're they're, they're a little separated, not for any reason other than that my my brother's a total spaz and there, there's no way i could get him to sit down in a studio <laughs> setting and like you know do enough takes to make it sound good so so like i, I wouldn't even ask that of him and uh <laughs> and then there's uh and then i play like solo guitar for for places too like i'll do and i do the like the odd wedding or i'll play a, a restaurant or something like that but uh i i'd say that's the extent of my live music playing yeah do, do you enjoy it do you I love it. Yeah. That? Yeah. Yeah. Really, it's, really do. It's a, uh, it's, it's definitely a, a, a different beast out here in Nashville for sure. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you got plenty of, plenty of places to play for sure. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's, it's just everywhere you look is a, another musician, another musician. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. That's, it's like, uh, isn't Nashville called Music City? Isn't I mean, that the yeah. one? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, I'm still kind of like put off, but I, I'm not originally from here. I'm, I, oh, where moved, are you originally from? Uh, Las Vegas. Oh, no way. Okay. Yeah. Moved from, Jeez. uh, another, one entertainment city to another. I was just going to say, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just like, and it's, it's really cool. It, it's, it's, it was really cool to like, you know, just meet all sorts of people with different backgrounds that also fell in love with the same thing that you fell in love with, you know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. So like, yeah. so Canada. So you're originally from Canada and now you're in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Still Canada, like, just the far East of Canada. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at geography. <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. I didn't know that Nova Scotia was in Canada. Yeah, that shit in, dude. Yeah, no, it's, it's in Canada. <laughs> You can tell yeah. I've been to outside of the. I've actually been to Toronto. I've been to Toronto. Okay, well, yeah, Toronto. That's uh, that's sixteen hours of driving away. So, so, wait, so uh, what were you doing out here around Nashville? Uh, my girlfriend and I were both driving up here from Texas, so that that was a a forty hour drive, and uh, Nashville is right on the way. So, what you drove? You didn't fly? No, because she has she has cats, and we had to bring the cats oh. up, and she has a car that we wanted to bring up. So, so there was a uh, you know a bunch of things to bring up, and it's uh you know you live in a beautiful country. It's it's a it's a nice road trip. <laughs> I yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. Wow, that's so you stayed in hotels and everything like that. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I think man. it took us. Uh, I think it was four or five five nights. Five days. Five days. Yeah, that's so fun. Yeah. Like just being on the road. Have you been on? tour have you been in bands and toured and did, did that nothing, whole thing before no, nothing like quite like that nothing significant like um you know would have been uh a, a, a few dates uh not very far apart from each other so i don't know if that counts as a tour no <laughs> yeah i'd say yeah. so yeah it's a small yeah, sure. two, let's, two let's day call tour. That. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yeah my oh uh i don't know because i don't uh have you ever done any like near uh music covers by chance? No. Um man, I, I've I've heard some though. And so they're, that, they're that soundtrack is like like just perfect acoustic like Man, I, I should I should explore that a little bit. But yeah, yeah I haven't I haven't touched it. The first game at least, I haven't played Aut Autonomy yet, but uh the first game I was like blown away by how beautiful that yeah. soundtrack was. Um, which soundtrack, like, which soundtrack do you think is your, the ones that you're like, yeah, but besides the, I mean, you said Mute City from F Zero, yeah, like, like the is there any one? Uh, is there um, any soundtrack out there that's like, man, like this just is like my absolute favorite? Uh, there's there's a few like uh, Chrono Trigger might be the one, like uh, that one's amazing. Yeah. Um. But there's a lot of uh, like there's there's other ones maybe they're not quite as amazing but but they they still fuck me up like uh, yeah. I, and you know like an underrated one I I love the F Zero soundtrack I love that one there yeah. there might be a couple of duds on it but like the rest of them are so cool I love that Mute soundtrack. City Big Blue yeah like yep uh, yeah. Port City you got uh, like White Land. Like they're, they're, they they got some weird jams and they they add so much to the atmosphere of the game. Like I just I I love it, 
And uh, no one else will ever say that. I think I'm the only person that says that. I love the F Zero soundtrack. No, I get I get yeah. F Zero uh, requests all the time on my on yeah. my live stream all the time, but, and I'm like, but, I will gladly those, play the, this. But those guys are probably almost always it's it's uh, New City or Big Blue, right? Well, like, what's like, funny? It's funny. Yeah. I'm starting to see like people who are noticeably younger than me start yeah. to play like their versions of what their classic was, and I remember yeah. I, I just I just covered. Um, uh, this other guitar player named Daniel Pania. Um, and he did a F zero X cover. Uh, oh yeah. And I was like, Oh, F zero X dang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, and that was a good one too. Like it, it was, uh, I love the vibe of that one. Cause they, they went full thrash metal on it and it's so yeah. cool. Like I, I love that, but there's something about the super Nintendo one. Like the, it's, it's almost like prog jazz. Like it's really weird and it's, it's super cool. I yeah. Love it. Prog was like yeah. a really big thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's really big thing, uh, for all those older games like no blow, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Uematsu. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Like I, I, he has, I, his, I, he, only, he has a prog rock band for Christ's sake. I, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's funny cause, uh, like not long ago I, I discovered, um, uh, what is it? Emer Emerson Lake and Palmer, uh, they're, they're, their album Tarkus and you listen to that and it's like it's from it's from like the early 70s or late 60s it's old dude <laughs> and you listen to that and you're like that's that's fucking final fantasy music <laughs> like it's crazy dude like it's it's wild if you haven't heard it listen to the album Tarkus it's crazy uh, I'll have to check it out because yeah, yeah. you could totally hear you could totally hear like uh there's what song is it um it's, it's a Final Fantasy VI, uh, Kefka's last, like the final battle, uh, final battle with Kefka. And it is, there's so many different, like, different parts in there. You're, you feel like you're playing a Dream Theater song. Yeah, it's, that's it's, so cool. It's it's just so freaking amazing. And, like, that's how I grew up. I grew up, like, playing back in the day, which was a Wednesday. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, back in the day, that's an old Dane Cook joke, by the way. Um, oh, okay. I thought that sounded familiar. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I grew up with uh downloading MIDI's because you at that time there were no such thing as MP3s. You couldn't get an MP3. Uh, that's right. MP3. Yeah. Um, at first it was MIDI's from VG Music Archive, and which still exists today. By it the does. way, it does. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And uh, I would just I would sit down and I would. Uh, put it. I would try to burn these MIDI's to a disc, and then yeah. I would play. I would get my headphones, and I would just. I would just play. You would. You would drum along the MIDI track. Yeah, actually, and That's before so that, and before that, I would take out my uh, cassette recorder and record it from the TV. I would po pause it if I could, or get into a spot where <laughs> I can actually get a good uh, yeah. version of the song, and then I would put it in like cassette, and I would play over the tracks. Dude, that's how you know you're one of the guys that does it for the love of the game. Yeah, that's it. Dude. That's it right there. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. It was, it was pretty much immediate. Where I was just like, yeah, this is this is my shit. Awesome. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, and, that's really cool. And now I'm just like trying to prove that to other people who didn't grow up with video games, and just like, dude, just listen to this fucking song. Yeah, just yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, <laughs> I know. It, it's it's you know. It's, it's a little easier to realize now because it's done on like real instruments and they're like real studio recordings. But it, like, you know, when we were young, it was like, you know, MIDI and it was, yeah. uh, you know, like, like 16 bit, you know, very low quality, kind, sometimes pretty tacky instrumentation, but, and, but the and, music was there. And it's so impressive that they're able to convey a song using um i think only four tr four channels were available yeah. on the old nintendo it was four yeah. or eight i can't remember um I don't know. but they had to sacrifice a whole lot of things to, in order to like if you want percussion it's got to be <laughs> yeah yeah you you're, you're not you gonna be able to have, have that a, note yeah, yeah you can't have uh this guitar and you can't have a uh, violin yeah. here so it's like yeah it's really impressive how they were able to uh just it, it it just just make make it sound like a lot was happening with so little yeah you know? it, exactly and, and, and i think that's partly why the music's so good is they they were so limited with like 
instrumentation and amount of parts that you could have that the the amount of notes that were there you really had to make them count you know they had to be good notes you know yeah uh yeah it's uh i don't know have you ever played uh uh, Mario Paint for Super Nintendo. Oh yes, dude. Do you dude. remember? Do you remember the one where you could like compose music? Yes, like, man. I yeah. love doing that. Yeah, that was that was so fun, and uh, it really made you respect the guys that were doing the actual soundtracks because you basically had to work with what they had. You yeah, know, you had the same tones. You had a staff. You, you could compose whatever you wanted, but everything I came up with stunk. And uh, you know, compared to you know what's what's out there you know back then it was amazing uh, have you heard of uh, have you seen like mario paint versions of like really popular songs i love that yeah uh, I've, I've i mean binged on those videos i i saw yeah. one um i think what really got me on it was i i came across one that was uh a mario paint version of justin bieber stay no no I, way <laughs> and i i know it's not a true justin bieber song i know it's an, uh the other gentleman is i don't on that, know I, it's another I, I, I forget who is else but anyway justin bieber's on the track and he sings okay. on it therefore it's a justin bieber song <laughs> yeah fair enough fair enough <laughs> anyway um i heard that and i was like wow this actually sounds like an, a, a video game track like this yeah is very video game yeah I, I i don't know um why it became a part of my youtube algorithm but uh i've been getting a lot for vid actually not lately but this would have been a few months ago where i've gotten recommendations for videos of popular songs in the n64 sound font oh i've gotten that uh, too yeah yeah <laughs> i love that shit like and it's yeah it, that's and so it's weird a, yeah yeah sometimes they're great and sometimes they're terrible oh like, man uh, yeah like there's one I think I saw, yeah, I saw one for, uh, it's a sound font from Super Mario 64, and it was doing the intro song from Better Call Saul, and that is <laughs> cursed, dude. It's so bad. It's oh so God. bad. <laughs> if you if you awful. edit these, if you edit those videos, you got to put that in right now so people can appreciate the beauty <laughs> of what I'm talking about right now because it's bad. It's it's uh, yeah, it's awful. But I, I think love it. Uh, I think uh, one that I played recently was uh, someone made a Super Mario 64 version of uh, Metallica's one. That was I think awesome. I saw I saw that one. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I did see that one. Very interesting yeah, how they went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just it's uh, it's great. It really sort of makes you realize. It makes you respect the uh, compositions from that console way more because you take like these songs and you you apply these tones to it and it it makes it worse pretty much every time. Yeah, you know, like the the N sixty four sound font is a it's a weird one, but it's I, not I my like favorite. It. No, it's definitely not it my favorite. I love it for nostalgic reasons, but it, it's trash. <laughs> like, it's, it's bad. It's it's yeah. pretty bad. Like that whole yeah. like N sixty four like. Yeah, uh, you know, it was just a lot it of it different. didn't age well. The, the the sound font didn't age well, and neither did the graphics. Like, I you mean, know, you look I at look at Castlevania. I think that's when Castlevania yeah. started going downhill. Yeah, and and like you got like look at look at games today. Like, there's still games that are coming out with like that pixel art style of graphics. Like, you got like Stardew Valley, and there's mm -hmm. Tons that I, I don't even know the name right now, but like it's still a legitimate style right now. There's no games coming out these days with Super Mario 64 graphics with the giant ass polygons and, and you know, round edges that, that are I far mean, from being there round. There are it, some it, that are coming out yeah. now. Like there's like, I remember seeing a, some sort of horror game that was sort of mimicked after Silent Hill, the oh, PlayStation. Okay. Um, and it sort of like mimics that old style of, uh, of polygonism. But you, you're right. Like, there was a there was a there was a level of uh, polish with the PlayStation One that the N sixty four just kind of never had. Yeah, and and, and yeah, like uh, my comparison was like the the Super Nintendo to the N sixty four. Like the Super Nintendo games, they still look like stylish today. They still look good. You oh, know? they still Where, look like, great. N sixty four games today, like like have you did did you play a uh, Goldeneye when you were young? Oh yeah. Yeah, don't if you haven't played it recently, don't because you, you don't want to ruin those memories because it, it's it is aged I so remember, poorly. Like I remember, you could could you not? I can't remember if you look could yeah. you look down and up. You, you couldn't you do could, that. You could do it with the C buttons, That's so you didn't right. have another joystick. You had to use the C buttons, which was so awkward. Also, yeah. what the hell was Nintendo thinking with that controller? <laughs> I know, like it's yeah, those three prongs. The uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. Like it, it really doesn't make sense. But they're completely unnecessary. All of the prongs, for that matter. Maybe you could have like the center one, but God, those other two are ridiculous. <laughs> especially, especially the one on the left. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Why? I don't know. Because uh, I remember, play, like, I remember recently in the last like decade or so playing uh, Super Mario sixty four. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember like I couldn't move my I had to move my camera with something else that other than the other joystick and I was yeah. just like what how does oh how did I play was, this there I forget this might be an, uh, a golden eye option but you can switch the controls so that you move with the C buttons and you look around with the joystick oh and so like now you have that like you know you can your neck can swivel easier but now you got you're moving with your right thumb which is insane it, like it's so you can't win yeah <laughs> yeah like that's like reverse you know that's yeah. that's actually kind of crazy like if you think about like people who are left-handed and people who are right-handed we all play video games pretty much the same yeah, way there, there's that's right yeah there's you no way uh, that? who who would ever reverse the joystick <laughs> i don't think i don't think that's even an option like, that's i mean so they weird. Make, i mean they make left-handed guitars yeah no <laughs> I mean, there's no there's no left-handed uh dual analog control options yeah i, I yeah. just thought of that like yeah. we all play video games the same i have it's never true. heard of a left-handed person saying this is weird hey you know maybe maybe these left-handed people do exist but it never even occurred to them that they're left-handed and that's why they stink at games <laughs> shots get, fired yeah. <laughs> yeah. you say oh uh, left-handed people are so smart and genius yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's you're, what killed, they say. You're, you're killed the death ratio says otherwise <laughs> <It's some genius. laughs> oh man yeah. oh uh Dude, um, have you ever like? I I usually have a, a bunch more questions, but I've been actually swamped with work lately. So yeah, that's all good. Like, have any other <laughs> questions? Is there anything particular that, like, oh, this was one of my questions. Um, what was, like, is there is there a soundtrack that you've tried to get and you're just like, just not working? It's just like not it's not working, or it's just like too hard, or it's like, eh. Or mm. were you able to always like climb that? Hump? I use I I pretty much always pull through. Uh, the The end result is questionable, but once I once I like uh, w- what's it called the sunk cost fallacy. W- once I'm like deep and up in an arrangement, and even if it fucking sucks, like I just will keep going because I've invested all this time. I can't quit, you know. Yeah. So I, I I think that's sort of what happens. So there's never been one that I've there's been projects I've sort of left on the back burner, but I'm going to come back to them. But uh, almost all of them, especially once I've like put hours into it, uh, there's no way I'm stopping. And, you know, if it's, if, if it doesn't work out, I, I, I just gotta, it, it almost always turns into something acceptable. It might not be great, but it's there. I put all this time into it and it, that's as good as I can do. You know, what, that, that's, is there an end game to, you know, you creating content? Like, is there, nah. are you just doing it all for fun? No plan whatsoever. I, I just, I just, uh, I enjoy doing it. I really like doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. And if good things come from it, that's awesome. But I don't have any plan or hopes or anything. I just want to keep doing it. I, I like doing it. That's awesome. So yeah. are, so are, do you, are you strictly, uh, a musician for hire or do you have like a day job and stuff i have a day job too okay. i have a small landscaping company that so I, have you ever I work. have you ever had that dream of like becoming a as a musician like growing up have you ever like yeah i'm gonna get, get in a band and tour and whatnot or were you the type of musician that was only in it for um the the artistry of it and learning and 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 creating yeah, i, I would stuff? say i would say the latter yeah for sure and uh you know whatever comes from that is awesome but uh but no there's no like there's no plan there's no yeah it's just it's just i'm very impulsive you know <laughs> and uh but a strong impulse i have is to record music i i love doing it that's awesome and yeah. I, that's fascinating yeah. because like every you know every musician that i've talked to always has like different 
uh, different reasons why they picked up an instrument. Like for me, it was like a combination of like, I want to entertain and I want to, yeah. you know, I'd love for this to be like my job and this, that, and the other growing up. And that was my ultimate goal and everything like that um creating was like secondary like the cre actual yeah. creation of music was secondary like that's fun yeah. but uh and, and and yeah like as far as creating goes like, like uh, when i started like i really was just doing it to entertain myself like it, it's it, i really enjoy doing it and then when i you know sort of realized i can share it and people are stoked about it i was like well fuck yeah it makes me like it even more you know like <laughs> it's, so yeah it, it was cool so do you do you get so like is it do you get sucked in to the likes and the the views and whatnot or do you do a pretty good job of like staying um, away from that sort of I'll, thing i'll put it this way like i uh I do, I do get high off of internet likes and views and stuff like that like it feels good but uh, i'm i'm lucky enough that i don't if it doesn't happen or if something flops like i don't get bummed out i'm just like well i wonder what happened you know, like it's it's just like <laughs> what I the hell see people happened there. Yeah, like I, I I see people get like legit bummed out if something like doesn't do as well as they were hoping. And uh I've never understood that. Like it's just like you know, you yeah, can ask I'm why, jealous. but to but to be upset is we I find that really weird. I I'm I'm jealous yeah. that, that of yeah. your mindset. I wish I had that yeah. mindset because like that's the yeah. true mindset that you should have. Like yes. Yeah. Yeah. The absolute mindset you should have, you should put it out there and just forget about it. And, yeah. or, yeah. you know, or just like strictly have fun and not pay attention to the views and, yeah. and the, and the likes and the engagement and whatnot. Um, for me, it's completely different because of the entertainment uh, factor of why I play music is like, yeah. I want to entertain as many people as possible. And selfishly, I want to entertain everyone more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fair <laughs> yeah that's that's okay like and you know like i have a bit of that too but just when it when it doesn't happen it's like well i still did this and i love doing it you know like it, yeah. was, it was fun to do and uh usually if something flops there, there's a pretty good reason like you know you can and, and and it might not have anything to do with the quality of what you did it could have been the choice of what you did it could have been the timing it could have could have been a lot of things you know and uh to get bummed out about it is it just seems like a I don't know, like it's just a, a waste of energy. It's futile. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. it doesn't do anything. It all it does is just bum you out. And then yeah. that just, that just it, it, it pervades the rest of your day. Exactly. And you bum, yeah. the, bum other people out with your with your frown. It's just, it's, yeah, there's it's it's nothing good that comes from it. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you're harshing my vibe. <laughs> exactly. But, well, I mean, I think that's, because you because you started music as a solo venture and i think that really helped you and again you cuz you didn't like join any bands like growing up or anything like that and you didn't I, you just did yeah it. i played i played in like bands in high school and stuff like i i i jammed with people and we we had like little things going on but there was never like a like a huge thing or with, with aspirations. We're going to we make it, man. Yeah, no, I, I never had that phase. No, it was just, we, we, we just, we had fun, you know? That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, cause like I grew up the complete, I, I did the, the, the exact opposite where like, that was like, we were so about music and the yeah. band life that like, this is what we're going to do. Damn it. And we're going to sacrifice yeah. everything else in life to pursue it. Well, and, and that's cool. If you love it, like <laughs> if, if you're loving every step of the way, then do it. You, you should. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, but to be, but to be completely honest, I feel like a lot because of that sort of just living with that sort of mindset, it's I feel pressure. like it's a lot of pressure. A lot, a lot of, of pressure too. disappointment. Absolutely. Yeah. 100 yeah. percent um and it it took me it took me 20 okay when i start it took me about 10 years 11 years of that mindset of i'm gonna be a musician i'm gonna be in a band i'm gonna tour i'm gonna get signed i'm gonna do all this stuff that is what i'm that's why i'm here on this earth to do mm -hmm. um and it took me 11 years to get that and i did it and it was fun it was great yeah. it was wonderful and now that part of my life is pretty much done. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so now I'm sort of like trying to figure out like mentally uh, of how to like move on from that mindset, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I, I think what you're doing is pretty sick. Yeah, like, you know, like I really yeah. am enjoying it. It's really cre- it, it's really a, a fun way, fun and creative way to like merge my two loves together. Like I love yeah. playing, I love entertaining, um, and I love video games, and I love like the, this nerd culture that is now just like kind of well, yeah. Risen. That's that's because that's the shit. Like I love playing music i love gaming and i also really love not leaving the house i'm a oh, huge yeah. fan of that yeah so that part's so pretty we, fun that part yeah pretty so we, although we i do dialed in, man. i do enjoy i do enjoy the tour life that was yeah I mean, it's it's a lot of fun I um, bet. yeah but uh but stay but staying home and you know having a, having a reason to, to to stay home and and create is is a lot of fun yeah for sure and it's you know, especially if you have a family, if you have a wife, you have a girlfriend, you you know, mm-hmm. kids, you know, it's like yeah. you're there. You know, if if the worst should happen, you're at a you know, you're a doorway away. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Um, it is, dude. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, that's about all I have time for today. Yeah, I, cool, I, dude, I really appreciate you coming on and freaking hanging out with me and uh just being on the podcast and answering my uh my 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 questions and uh i really again i'm a big admirer of your work like it's back at you i I want you to keep going and uh i wish nothing but the best for you yeah same to you man thanks for having me on it was fun yeah and uh more collaborations are coming from you uh from me to you in the future let me tell you yeah i can't wait i'm psyched (laughs) all right man well uh until next time, I'd love to have you on again if you're if you're down. Absolutely, yeah. Cool, dude. Absolutely. Well, everyone, follow CR Guitar. What's the website? What's the website again? Uh just just Google it. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah you'll you'll find it. <laughs> yeah. All right, CR Guitar. Follow him on all the social platforms. You you will not be disappointed. Uh, all right, that's it. All right, see y'all later. Man. Yeah.